know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And that's the last time you're gonna hear me fuck say that shit. You know what I mean? Next week is gonna be a new show. You know what I mean? Everything is gonna be right back to the way that it used to be. You know what I mean? It's one of the live shows. It's all Sundays, all on radio. So, we got a little bit of technical difficulties earlier. As you can see, you know what I mean? My DJ was not able to come. You know, just shout out to Kurt, shout out to DJ Rob out there, you know. Hope everything's is working out there for y'all. Also, the man to the left of me, you know, he's working also, so it's just like, oh, It's a girl's thing. Wait, you know, you know what I mean? Now I'm just saying, you know what I mean? It's a girl's thing. What's up? I'm going to throw it there. I mean, I already knew it. I already knew it. She's like, I ain't going to say nothing. You know, don't even point to me, no nothing. And look, and you know, we got your DM for this hour. Matter of fact, now, before we even get into this hour, um, I want to give a huge shout out, man, to our guests before, you know, for understanding uh, the little uh, difficulties that we had. But next Sunday, they will be back. We're starting from 6 to 10 next Sunday, um, just to give them their hour, because uh, they came to show this love. I'm not going to crack this handy. I'm going to wait till y'all come through here. You know, so again, you know, I mean, much appreciations and you know, thank you and thank you for understanding. But, yeah, I'm glad that this nigga came through here. I told him, I'm like, look, we won't be able to play no music. He was like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Me and you be rap for four or five hours. And so, you know what I mean? So, we just gonna talk for the rest of this hour and a half. My boy, the way is north. Yes, sir. What's good with you? Bless, my nigga, bless. I see. <laughs> I see. You know what I mean? Give me a little My man. You know what I mean? So thank you for coming up here, man. Uh, you was on here before when we first started. Um, yeah. And you said you was going to come back. Yeah. You said you was going to come back with some heavy shit. Yeah. And you did some heavy shit, my nigga. Yeah, my yeah. God. So this uh, joint that you got coming on. Uh, what's, the type, what's the type of language? The you way it's north, yeah. right? Comes yeah. out of uh, 721. Yeah. Now, do you feel as though you're going to have any competition with uh, Meek Mills? Because that's when Meek Mills going to come out. Who? Meek Mills. Who that? Oh, my ah. God. Ah. Why does everybody know me? Listen, I know my Instagram. I'm going to be vibing. Yo, nigga, you come on. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I mean, I'm not worried about none of that shit, man. I focus on me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Check and you know, man, what's the drop? I, you know, I root for everybody. So I, I don't want anybody to you know what I mean? Speaking of that, you know what I mean, you focusing on me, you know what I mean? It's like, right, right. I, I peak for a few months lately, but you've been like real solo, you know, like low no key, you know, by yourself. Uh, any reasons for that? I mean, I can't. All right, all right. I'm better off by myself when it comes to certain things, because. I consider myself a business, a brand, you dig what I'm saying? So when you, with other people that are trying to put their own brand out and you come together, everybody gonna keep pulling one way. You know, I'm going this way, I'm going this way. So, and, and, and the perfect thing to do in a situation like that is whoever's brand is buzzing the most, everybody else stand behind them and push. However, when you do that, the person you're pushing also has to understand that he got to pay attention to what's being said behind the pushing. What, you know, you got strength behind you, you got to pay attention to that. You can't just do what you want to do and disregard everybody else. You get what I'm okay. saying? So I work better by myself at the end of the day. Right, so, you know what I'm saying? so was that right there the, what motivates you, you know, to start going out? Cause it's like you've been out of Philly for a little bit. You've been working outside of Philly. Yeah, I love it. Um, I love it. One thing that our guest that came on before you said that he was like, I get more support from people outside of Philly. Always. So do you actually believe? Yes. I so you stand true. behind that also. Yeah, one hundred percent. I want to accomplish the little things. And you know what's crazy about it? The less buzz I make visually, the stronger it is behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? People put me on, when I went to NY, my man put me on to something. He said, go on SoundCloud and look up these, you know, certain artists. And I never heard of these dudes. And when I start doing my math, looking at, looking, you know, their numbers on YouTube, because everything about numbers, and we're talking about official numbers, these dudes were buzzing. 
and they dealing with people that's, you know, that's up there, you know, the, the money machine, and I never heard of them. So, that though, you know, the, the theory about the music speaks for itself, and that's gonna get people to come to you. No, you grind behind the scenes, bro. You gotta grind behind the scenes in order to get that door open. So by the time your face is shown outside that door, you got a monster behind you. Cause I could have, I could take, and, and just an example, I could take them right here and say, yo, I'm gonna make this song, we gonna, we gonna drop $10,000 on a radio station. And he go in, $10,000, they play a song for a month straight. Then it's like, damn, what's my man's name? I can't find him nowhere. He ain't even got a YouTube channel. You only got three views on Instagram. Who the fuck? You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So the same way I would look for that, it's the same way the higher ups look for that. Because now they're not coming to the hood looking for the talent. Now they going on social media. They going on, on, you know, on, on the monster looking for the talent. Now with social media now, you know, they change the game. Well, that's the complete. That's the marketing. That's the promotion. Yeah, TuneCore killed the labels. iTunes killed the labels. Koch was the last record label, independent, one of the last ones to give you $7 a CD. They fell apart. Now you go ahead, $39, $40 a year. I put 100 songs on iTunes. They want they load uh, 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 9% from your album, so they're gonna push it for you. You understand what I'm saying? And this is the game I was trying to give people. Hey, all right, so, it ain't, you know. Yeah, all right, so now, you know what I mean? Uh, business strategy changed. Right. I so look at business it. first. Yeah, so that you know, business, 99% business, one, no, 98% business, 1% talent, and then you know, the rest hustle. Right, so why, why is like 98% business and just 1% talent? Because you can hustle as hard as you want, bro. You can grind. How many niggas you know put a song out every day in ciphers? And nothing. I mean, if you're doing it for the love, that's right. cool, for real shit. Real if you do it for the love, that's cool. That's, yeah. If you want to sit, but I'm not going to be 50 right. years old in a cipher to my AL. Nah, I'm trying to get, at the end of the day, I'm trying to get money. All right, so one like uh, the self uh, title, uh, was it EP, mixtape? Uh, oh, the first one was yeah, the first one. Yeah, it, it was an album. Yeah. Right, so that was like, uh, so why the long break? I mean, a long break in between that was, um, I like working on my time. Like, I like, I like, um, experiencing certain things. You feel me? My first hour was when I came home from prison, you know, after that long time in prison. So, all that, all them songs, everything was based around that. So, if you listen to the album, it puts you, like, in the zone, like, like, a, um, You'll constantly be thinking, you think what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You'll constantly be thinking, thinking, thinking. So now, I experienced a little more. You know, I, I've been home a couple of years and shit, so. I talk about my experiences. So, the gap between, was three years actually, right there, 2014. Yeah, three years, so. That whole time I was just, you know, living. Experiencing life, working, you know, kids, all that shit, you think what I'm saying? And writing, and if it takes me a month to write a song, that's how long it took me. And, and like the difference, because it's like a lot of people, you know what I mean? It's like they have their their first one, you know what I mean, which is like um, freshman. Right. You know, right. Like, right. And you have um, either sophomore or is it sophomore that comes after freshman? Or I've been yeah. out of school for so long. I don't sophomore, 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 sophomore. Yeah. sophomore. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so so it's like there's always like a little bit of a of difference. It's Sure. Right. You know what I mean? From everybody's like different out. What? So, first one, I put it all out. I just, whatever, I did with it, I did with it. Take my money, go to the studio. All I know, I'm going to make a mix, I mean, an album, and I'm just going to sell it. I ain't know nothing about branding yourself. Right. YouTube, get money off YouTube, Angora, SoundCloud, uh, uh, performance. You think what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing about none of that. So I just want to like, cause like I said, in this interview, you know what I mean? I want to talk a lot about you, right? I mean, so it's like um, you help me out a lot um, with the whole branding. All right, when you came out, you was like, "Yo, y'all hear that?" <laughs> when he was like, yeah, yeah, when he was like, "Listen, you're wearing this, but what are they doing?" 
Exactly. You're holding this. You know, and this, ain't no shot. And this ain't no shots for nobody out there. Right. You understand? There's no shots for nobody. But he was like, all right, but what are you doing? Right. You know what I mean? When are you going to come out with something? Right, right. So that's when you right. helped me out. I remember that the same thing we had in comps. It was an interview or something, right? No, nah, first time. It was with the, um, with the AMX yeah. and everything. He was like, look, you got to start pushing. And then the second time, you seen you holding something. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, look. Why are, you, yeah. why are they? What are they putting in your pockets? I remember that. You know what I mean? So now it's it was that, a drink. It was yeah, a drink. it was a drink. And I acted. You know what? I was like cut. Yeah. Cut the cut. Because we advertising something that ain't doing nothing for us. And you see it all day long. Free advertising. They killing us with free advertisement. Who got hit to that? Nas got hit to that. All these big names got hit to that. And now if you want to hold a bottle of a, a, a honey or something, you gotta cut the check. Uh, you know where I seen that? I seen that on uh, I'm Not Self. Yeah. Uh, with Ebro. When somebody came in with something, and Ebro was like, "Listen, they ain't cut me no check. Yeah. So you ain't there. You ain't bringing that right. on here." Right. That's it. And the boy was like, "What you talking about?" I'm like, "This is you got sesame that shit." Sure. Look, and you know what it was? Listen, man, and this is petty as you can see, but now it makes sense when Philip told me. All it was was a Dunkin' Donuts cup. They not cut the check. Exactly. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a commercial, bro. Yeah, that was like, that was like a half, like a half show in a sense. You know what I'm saying? That's a commercial. Oh, yeah, I saw that. So, so, so you branding yourself that that play a big part in uh, the way it's uh, the way it's Yes. How's that? Embodiment. Okay, that's right. All right. What I mean by that is everything came from inside me and from me and to me when the Philip North thing. The, uh, the way is north. The, uh, me making my beats. The right. I was able. I'm an, I was able to write as an entity, and not think about being in the club, drinking a bottle of such and such, or wearing this brand. So it took everything to focus away from all that, and was about me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it was like one of the most focused cats that that I had met. You know what I mean? Because it was like when we have our conversations, I'd be like, yo, don't get a drink on me. He'd be like, nah, you can come get a drink with me. <laughs> I'm like, hey, where are we going? They came out in my basement. You know what I mean? It's like, why are we going to yeah. go out there when you can just do what we got to do, and bring it, and work? At the same time. Exactly at, at, at the same time. You see time. that? That's I'm my sure. whole that's 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 Exactly. Exactly. You constantly build, bro, because you never know when God will take you. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta constantly build, constantly elevate, bro. So, again, you help me out with that because with, if you notice that every time that we talk, I mean, a lot of things have changed. And a lot of people be like, oh, you don't come here, or you don't come there, right? But it's, if it's not helping me, why? You understand? Because I go to places now, but I'm going there for a purpose. I'm going there to be like, all right, who's performing? Who, who's, and who's right. backstage right. Right. that I could sneak back there or probably from neighbor my way back right. exactly. there and be like, yo, this is such and such from no radio. Exactly. You know what I mean? Even though we're drinking, we're having a good time, I'm still working. That was good. Yeah, yeah, when so, you do what you love, you know what I'm saying? This is right there. I always yeah. believe that too. You know what I'm saying? You Just keep doing what you love, man. You you say, say, hey, you to you. Sometimes what you love becomes a job, though. So you got uh, it is. I mean, everything is a job. job I mean, shit. Getting up, brushing your teeth for the job, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love it's all that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. All right, speaking of networking. Uh-huh. All right, that, the network game, y'all, like, it's... It turned up, man. Uh, I mean... I'm not going to mention the no names. It turned up. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. But it, was, it all happened when you took that little ride, and you know what I mean. And it I happened, and I invited, and I invited the man. Listen, you can listen, you can tell the story. Listen, you know what I mean. He told me he was like, "Look, I'm about to go make a couple moves right now." He says, "You need I'm to come with me." Yep. You know what I mean. It's, it's going to benefit you. And I told him like, "Look, I really can't right now. I'm stuck doing something, which really wasn't that important." I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna admit to you, it really wasn't that important. But I gave my word that I was going to do something. I mean, you kept your word. You yeah. Your so, you know what I'm saying? But, but when I seen the Instagram live. The lie, return? The return. <laughs> I seen the Instagram live. You seen the return in the investment. <laughs> I was like, this was, I was like, wow. Speaking of something. Wow. Yeah. So how did that come about? Like, 
What was the first step? You know what's the first step? step? Damn. The first step. Right, I'm going to give you the whole story. Dude, we got a whole hour. I'm going to give you the whole That's story. That's the change. All right, so this what happened. I was locked up. This said, go back to being locked up. I was upstate with some boy named L. L was supposed to be a day. He made a home. That's what's up. Welcome home, L. Shout out so to L. He did, he did some time. So we was together. I came home. He got transferred to another prison. In that prison, he met some dude named Tone. Tone Patron. Right? He met some dude named Tone Patron. Tone Patron. And um, Tone Patron was Terror Squad affiliated. Roll with the dude heavy, real heavy. I'm talking about like real heavy. Shout out to my nigga Tom. So um L met him, my man L met him. Right? So L will always brag about my beats and shit like that. Yo, my man was getting nasty. Da 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 da. And Tom was like, man, get him on the phone. So L called me from, you know, months, about a year go by, L called me from prison, like, yo, I want you to talk to my man Tom. So he put Tom on the phone. So me and Tom, you know, we chopping and shit. And he's like, yo, how you want to market yourself? You did what I'm saying? So I'm jumping on shit. How you want to market yourself? How you want the world to see you? You want to be a producer? You want to be a rapper? What you want to do? So now, and this is general conversation, but now he put the seed in my mind. Well, I was sparking the What's the package? Right? What package? What's, what's, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? What package am I going to get a world into the world? So anyway, so he hooks me up with somebody from Brooklyn. So I'm in Brooklyn, no, I'm even both from Brooklyn. We talk over the phone, boom, 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 boom. So I go out to um, Brooklyn by myself, that's I had invited you. And I had invited somebody else, but they had to go get a haircut. So boom. So I take a ride by myself, right? As it was meant to be. Cause you niggas had to cut your toenails and shit like that. My yeah. nah, 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 was a little bit more important. <laughs> so, um, boom, you know, I went over there, I had a little meeting, I met some real talented individuals and shit. Then came back, and, you know, we started building, kept, you know, constantly building. I met my man, Roy Childs, he was vicious, he was super talented. Then I went up again on, um, last year sometime, for a video shoot. Them doing that video shoot, uh, Tony, Tony came, Tony Sunshine came through, and it was like me and Tony was just busting it up, chopping. Like, you know what I mean? Boy, he's like super talented. He's super, um, he's a fucking genius, bro. So we chopping it. So you know, I came home, I came back to Philly. He did his thing, he finished the video, whatever. I came back to Philly, and he, my phone rang. Okay, my nose FaceTime and it's hung, it's Tony, and I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, man, what's good? He's like suicide check. So I'm like suicide check. He's like, Nick, just checking up on you. He was like, yo, he said I heard a lot a lot of um, real shit about you, so like niggas fuck with you and vouch for you. I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? So you know that was that. After that, you know, we start riding with each other shit. So he introduced me to his manager, Lois, which is a monster. Like, this dude is super smart. He knows the game, in and out. In and out. How to get a song out there. Matter of fact, before that, um, nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Yeah. He already knew about that joint. Like, Joe had, they had the conversation, and he was like, yo, I got this record, and it's gonna be a fucking mind, it's gonna be crazy. Then he was like, then I got the remix, and Jay gonna be on it. And this is like six months to a year, before the shit come out. So he already had the He whole, already knew it. He, he already had, had the whole ins and outs and okay, yeah, exactly. Out. Then the shit Who's came out. Be on right. The remix. right, then it came out and he you know, everybody all hype about it, but he cool with it because he already knew about it. And then he put me on to um Joe had another song called uh It looked like I've been cooking. Oh that Joe with yeah. uh Fresh Bot yeah, yeah, Fresh. That's song that's that. um Joe Sun. Yeah. I didn't even know that was that Joe Sun. Oh god yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you know, I was blessed to meet them people, man. All that shit did for me was like light a fire in my ass. And, and that's my next question, you know what I mean? So, you're in New York, because it's not just, you know, Tony Sunshine, you know, you try to hustle. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, some guys out there that YouTube is like fucking blowing up. You already know. Yeah, that. YouTube blowing up, SoundCloud blowing up. 
So now you're back home. Right. You know what I mean? And it's oh, like, listen, listen. <laughs> All right, yeah. So now I'm in a room with these fucking monsters, right? And everything they do and say is like pain. You did what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they're crying. If a motherfucker in this room right now, I'm like, damn, we need, we need some water. Nobody gonna move. Somebody gotta say, yo, can you go get some water? Over there, it's like, damn, I need, I need a light. Everybody moving. Everybody moving. Niggas is not stagnating. Motherfuckers is moving. Any little thing, they moving. If we say, yo, we gonna do this, we gonna have a meeting tomorrow about this, that, and the third. And everybody's they already, Yeah, they already got the agenda. Everything is already on go. What's up, baby? They go more Shout out right to Butter. There you go. Shout out to Butter. So everybody was on a on a on a grind. Ain't no bullshit. Forty five minutes we making a song. Ain't no. I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ain't no coming back tonight. Okay. So when I came back over here, and I'm not saying everybody was like that, but the majority of people I was around is like sitting on the ass. Ain't ain't no grind. Ain't no hustle. Ain't no motivation. It's like you sitting at home writing songs and what the fuck is that gonna do? You could be the hottest nigga on earth. Just shit, just shit, just not gonna appear in motherfuckers' heads. You dig know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta push it. You gotta push it. You gotta push it. So before I push mine, I learn the business. Cause a lot of times when you push it, shit, it goes in the wrong hands, and that's when you get bit. Alright, so now. Was in the room. I already know you spent a lot of gas money, bro. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you can understand because yeah. it's like that. You know what I mean? Now I gotta, I gotta keep it up. You know what I mean? But before we get to that one, so it's like, so now you're home. You know, now you got ideas going through your head. So how many times have you changed your your tracks in, in, in your joint that's coming up? You know what I mean? Because honestly. Cause if you lie, come on, I'm like, you Charlie Austin, Tony Sunshine, you know what I mean? A couple of big Lord names, Child, you know what I mean? Lord Child, Child, and all yeah, of So now you gotta be like, all right, well, did they like motivate some changes? Who banks, the young boys who banks? What you talking about? I'm so good. Um, let me see who else. Anyone on your, anyone on, on your joint? Tony, Tony. But sing the rapper, cause I heard he did. Then you on both, man. Yeah, cause. Yo, I went, the, I went to the studio with him. Um, and it's like, I just sat back, bro. I go on the booth, <laughs> I go on the booth, I'm like, yeah, you on my say, he like, nah, -uh, no, no. So I'm like, nah, all right, so boom, all right, yeah, I got some hot shit now, I'm gonna go this shit. I go on there to drop, he, no, no, no. I'm like, God damn, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> so he knows what he looking for, you dig what I'm saying? So I'm like, you drive, bro. You go to drive, that's the first time. Like two people I love working with is M Class, M Class, and Tony. Like just being around these dudes is Yo, this. shout out to M Class, man. He was supposed to have been up in this joint. Yes. You know, yes. those things happen, but he you know, grinded. He got the he got the you know what I mean? He got the bang over there. He got the bang boy movement going on. He doing like he branding himself too. He on go. He on he on my album one, two, three, like three times. Uh, so speaking about bad boys, since you said you know what I mean? Oh, bad boy, okay, well, my bad. You know bad I mean? boy, so, what you want to talk about? I don't know. It's like, once you said bad boy, it took me back, you know uh -huh. what I mean, to a, a certain time. So I want to take it back. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? This is not like your first time, like, grinding and really doing things. Right. Because you was in 106 and, uh... 106 and Park. 106 and Park. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So how was that, uh... I mean, that was, that, you know what? Shout out to M Class for that too, man. Because he called me one day and he was like, he was with um, Freeway. No, he was with Freeway. He was like, yo, I'm about to go hit 106 in the park. I want you to come with me. So I said, what? I'm like, nigga, let me know. I don't give a fuck what I, I forgot anything I had to do. I forgot. <laughs> I ain't know what I, I, I knew I was in my Lincoln and I was going to go to 106 in the park. So he in the car with Freeway. He told Freeway, yo, my man, my man full of North coming with us. He called that shot. And Free was like, all right. So he's like, yo, come on. M Clash jumped out of the car. He was with Freeway in the car. He got out of that car and got in the car with me. Yeah, this is my nigga, bro. So um, he gets in the car with me and we riding up there, taking videos and shit. 
we go on one or six and part. And I think Freeway was gonna judge a battle. Okay. So we judging a battle between some and some. Dang, you probably know their names, man, if I show you the picture, but these, you know, what's the boy with the beard? Uh, Smack, dude, Smack. That, dude, that's, that's like that. saying the house with the tailor front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the car, the car with the beard. The car with Everybody the beard. out here, nigga. <laughs> that's your no, boy. That man. In the battle world, he Smack. Smack was going to, he took the battles to 106 apart. So they had the boys battling. So when I was there, uh, I met um, my man Larry. And you know, wherever I go, I go to the network. And from that, I was on Jim Jones' mother's show. From that incident. And I was at Puffy Studio from that incident. Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna break it down, so boom. So he go in there, he do a battle or whatever and shit. So I'm standing outside the network, and that's when I met um, the boys from Keaton. Uh, yeah. Lloyd Banks, Yayo, um, KK, and Young Buck. They was all there and shit. So that's when I met them, the boys from Keaton and shit. You know, took this, whatever and shit. But I met the boy Larry, and while everybody was in there doing the battle thing, I was, you know, able to take my number and uh, he, he, he said, call me, this, that, and the third. So when I came to Philly, when he called me, he called me when I came to Philly, I called him. So he was he was like, yo, uh, stay in contact with me, this, that, and the third. So then he called me one time and he was like, yo, um, we going to show a, 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 a episode for Mama Jones at this, what's the chick, Soul Food Jones, Tootsies? Yeah. Uh, on South Street. So he said, come through. And I was there. And then, you know, I was on the job, I was on VH1, you know, wherever she had a show. Then from there, he called me and was like, yo, I need you to come perform at Buffy Studio. They doing this big thing. So I goes over there. And you know, I ain't get to perform because something happened. Something happened with the, uh, you had to sign some paperwork and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I just stood there, we was on Revolt TV, you know, that's Puffy Station and shit. So from there, you know, we just moved forward. And that was doing the first album on uh, uh, that's the Philip North, so title. So I took all the, all the experiences. And you had asked me how um, did I change how many times I changed my project? Yeah. After I met these people, I ain't changed nothing. Like I, whatever I had, I had. I just added to it. But I didn't. I didn't add to to me. Like I didn't take away from me. So what you going here is the same full of North, but just a little, you know, a little different. You know. What? I said I wasn't gonna crack it, but you know what? You, you gotta take a little step, right? Uh, I said, go ahead. You gonna crack that bottle and you know what I mean? I got you some ice. So, because I know, you know what I mean? We're going to stick with the Kiki Vodka, you know what I mean? Oh, shout out to Kiki Vodka, man, by the way. Shout out to Chris, yo. You know what I mean? Shout out to Chris, shout out to, um, to Fab. Yo, shout out to Wap Real. Yo, shout out to all them cats, man, out there on their ride. But again, man, shout out to Kiki Vodka. To me, it's like the first gluten free. Yes. So I'm trying to watch my figure. And so I can't have any gluten, so that's perfect. Yeah, I'm trying to watch my figure now. That's so the first thing. Right. Right. Uh, so shout out to Kiki Vodka, you know what I mean? Oh, so we can work out. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here's some ice. Here's some ice, my nigga. Now, how many of these bottles we got killed in, in in your basement? And that's here you go. That's another thing. Alright? Not a lot of people know this. Give it to your man right there. Damn, you took all the ice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you drink it hot? No, I was like, nigga, you took all the ice. He was like, I'm driving. I'm driving. Damn, that shit won't be watered down. Alright, so. So, um, damn, yeah, any black. Rip D Boy, my man D Boy. So, so, yeah. so, so it's like this. It, you was like already, even though some of your lives in the beginning uh -huh. were mostly FaceTime. Yeah, it was just me and you. Yeah, I was getting the hang of it, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. be like this, all right, yeah. so we used to kick it. But then, it was like more and more people were starting to be in, in, in your life for you. Yeah. And that was a correction. Accident. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but was that Tony in your basement? Yeah. It was. That All right, when well, he say basement, right? It's not a basement. It's, right. not, it's a studio. Yeah, it's a studio. I'm like, come on, bro. It's like, like we not, it's we a little, not. Yeah, it's a little. It's finished. 
Like we're not breathing, we're yeah. not breathing in the asbestos and yeah, shit. Yeah, we're not, you know what I mean? You don't have like the water stains on the yeah. walls and shit like yeah, that. that. Concrete, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, it's only, yeah. That's, you know, that's my man. Like, but in your basement, bro. Right? Yeah. This nigga's been in the front of the crib drinking beer. Yeah. Like, like see, one of that, he's, a, he's, he's like us, like he. It's a real humble dude. Yeah, we could sit there and talk about everything but music. And he gave me a shout out. Tone, listen, I took Tone, Tone to um to my man Butter Barbecue. Nice. And these niggas down there freestyling. But look, like that's how that's how down to earth this dude is. But what can you do? You know what I mean? So but this is like every right right. So, add, so after you barbecue, after you put the barbecue sauce on the chicken, you know, of course you're gonna go and say, yo, you wanna hear me real quick? And then, you know, no, I mean, that's, that's, that's he was a right at it. Like that is a given fact. Niggas love doing that shit, bro. Right. So inspirations, you know, like uh, for the way it's north. Uh, did you take everything from your self-titled uh, Philip North um, to all your experiences? Um, like you said, you talk about jail, you know, everything. Right. But now you're not in jail, so you can't talk about it. You know what I mean? Right. You, even though you can't talk about some of the experiences, you right. that's leading you to it. But it's like, well, what's different? Like, what are you talking about now? What are you rapping about? Now? You know what I'm talking about? I mean, I still talk about the experiences in prison. Uh, experiences of having anxiety, PTSD, you know, betrayal. I talk about, um, right, P P see, this, this one here, PTSD. PTSD. What, yeah. what is that? Post-traumatic Post -traumatic stress syndrome. So whenever you go to a you know traumatizing situation, you you know it's the backlash from it. So anybody that been in prison has some type of PTSD, has some type something is wrong with that motherfucker. So I me, mean, I, 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 I talk about that. I talk about um you know uh, uh, some personal things on there. I talk about I talk about everything. Like that. Yeah, PTSD and, and, can also be okay. passed by yeah, DNA. Yeah, a lot of people listen. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, real. I mean, that's real. Like slavery, you know what I'm saying? They just, um, they just, they just completed that study. Yeah, yeah. yeah they just completed that study. Listen, and it's like, for well, I didn't do that much, you know what I mean? To, you know, compared to what a lot of people did, you know what I mean? A nickel ain't nothing, bro. You know what I mean? But I still feel like some of that, that five years, oh, man. Oh, yeah, yo, you think about, I, think about I, it. I, I, they take, they take you. I mean, Listen, you know, I, I still cannot be in the shower more than three minutes. I can't feel it. Right? Yo, <laughs> yo <laughs> seriously. So more, so more. Yeah, because you know what it is? It's like, all right, you know what I mean? I'm there. So I got to, I got to, you heard load up, right? Yes. All right, so I'm going to load up. I got a video stage one, too. So that's a prime example of experiences. Uh, and that song I talk about, my man, Deep Boy. They never put me on to the Honey Black. So I talk about how his death affected me, or Capone. I talk about Capone in that song. So all of my all my projects, all of my songs is talking about something that really happened, or something that's really gonna happen, or something that might happen to you. The only song I got on there is, I, no, hold on, I got two songs that's different. I got um, Cool Whip, I'm in my mood. Yeah. That joint. Yeah. Th that's a little more sensitive yeah. job. Yeah, yeah, that's a different I, I, joint. That's I, I, totally I, I, out of my yeah, element. I, I like and it. it took like what? It took like six. But it's because of Bart Simpson that I've been like, yo, I'm fine with this. You know what I mean? I'm with my class. Yeah, you know, yeah, I got my class. shades on. Oh, I want some cool yeah. shit. Yeah. So that song right there is like, I'm going to tell you how that song came about. Me, I think you was there too, right? I was there, I heard you. It was me, Jeezy, Danny. M class, I think you was in and out because the song took me in it. It was like six of us. A half ounce of sour, 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 and you know, I don't even smoke that shit. Um, a bottle of honey, like two bottles of Ciroc. And I had a pair of, um, I think I paid like 60 something dollars for a pair of stand socks, right? So we was sitting in the basement and I, 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 I had finished making the beat. And she was playing and I'm like, and I remember Danny was like, yo, you gotta rap like Danny, god damn. This nigga, right, he one of the motherfuckers that when you trying to create, he's like, no, no, do this. 
and he don't even make music. He can't even tell you who buzzing right now. But the nigga just be in your ear, and you, sometimes I listen to him and be like, all right, let me hear it. Other times I'll be ready to choke him, you think what I'm saying? <laughs> sometimes I'll be like, all right, let me hear it. And I'll be like, all right, that's not all right. So he came up, he, he was like, you should say this. And I'm like, all right. So I'm listening, and I'm like, and I just start, you know, I start mother, you know, fucking with the mother and shit. Like, all right, I'm in my, I seen a belly somewhere, and I'm like, I'm in my room, it's such a cool way. And he's like, yo, keep that shit. Keep that shit. So I'm like, all right, so fuck it. I'm like, no, let me get a bottle. So I start drinking more. Then I'm looking at my socks and I'm like, uh um, uh, hundred dollar socks on. You think yeah. what I'm saying? So everything that was going on, we was doing. I, I got, got my J's on. You think what I'm so saying? I'm on some bullshit. Yeah. You did? Yeah. And so everything, that song came out with like, there's like six of us and shit to start. Fuck with this shit. Like, everybody, I'm the type. Everybody put. Right. I'm the type of dude, like, my, my album. Like the real deep shit, I focus solely like I don't want, I don't want this shit. I want it. And when I write my music, I don't listen to rap. I listen to classic rock. I listen to um, jazz. That's being being you. We already, you already been, know. We like, already listen, been in our history. You be like, right. oh, you know about that. So it's I like, barely listen. To, I barely listen to rap. Uh, hip -hop, you know what I'm this is like one of the. Out. This is like one of the cats I know. Like right now that uh, no. Uh, who sings um, Two Nights in White Satin? You understand? Love. Yeah. Love, you hear that song, Love? Um, not Two Nights in White Satin. Yeah, how the fuck do you look? I look like yeah. I got the hook to my yeah. song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's crazy, nigga. Okay, yeah. 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 Yeah.
right by uh, the old 20, 24, 25th? No, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's all fresh. Oh, that's all fresh for you. That was like right around the corner. I mean, yeah, it was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's like right around the corner. About yeah. four or five blocks. About four or five blocks, right? Yeah. So do you still go back around there, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, fuck, right? Yeah. So you still, just a grill? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing. My young niggas out there. Even though you, know, you moved up, you know, yeah. to where you at, you know what I mean? You still come somewhere, back. Somewhere over the way. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the heavy black. All right, here we go. All right, so, solo, no more management, no more, no. So why not go the management route? All right, um, I can't, I can't deal with it. All right, this is the thing, right? Like when I was with RDE, shout out to RDE. Yep, shout out to RDE, you know what I mean? Everybody but RDE there. wasn't a group. Like a lot of people thought it was a group. Like the goodie did his thing, Maddie did his thing, I did my thing, but we came together to make a fucking movement that was the, you know, the shit was starting to smooth. Yeah, yeah. Fine. You had me, you had Matt and yeah. Billy. So my thing was management, bro. Jeezy, that's my man. Love him to death. We can't do that type of business together. You not like it was he, me, we done had this time, we done had this shit, you know. I was running, a, I was a manager at that barbershop he owned. We couldn't do that shit either. <laughs> <laughs> this is my yeah, man. That that, so, yeah, this right, is my so, man. Right, so what you're so, trying to say is like you have, you like no, brothers. No, he does business a certain way. So I'm a business. Anything that got to do with me, whatever plans or anything that involves Philip North, you're going to run it by me first. You're not going to be planning shit. And all of a sudden, oh, you, huh? No, I, I didn't know about that shit. So I can't work like that. Gotcha. You know, I, I need to be hands on with all my shit. And you know, me and Humby had that conversation. Um, who was focused on, on, on Goody and all that, you know what I'm saying? So I told him, I, I don't know if he was there when I made the phone call, but I'm just gonna fall back. Fall back to my own thing. You know, I can't do the management thing. Just not, because they're not. I built, I work hard to make me, to get the respect I get. I don't give a fuck who know me, who don't know me. Well, you know what, it's like, and I don't mean to cut you off, I don't think I've ever met three hard working guys like y'all three. You know, and that's what made it beautiful. With Goody, always working. Man, if you look at his uh, Instagram, Instagram, that boy be four o'clock in the morning, yeah, I'm working. You working? You on your live feed, FaceTiming me, working? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is one of the What's the oh, you know, on Instagram, Instagram live. <laughs> there you go, Instagram. <laughs> but you know what? All three of y'all are some hard working motherfuckers. What's up? All three. You know, so it's like sometimes it just doesn't check. Nah, I did not. Nah, I'm not fucking with man. At all? At all. So like nobody... Give me a role man. I'll take a role manager. Uh, so, uh, so like what's the difference between a role manager? There's a big difference. You got one nigga that's picking the brain and trying to make something happen. And you got the other nigga that's making moves for you. The nigga that's saying, yo, you got you to go to LA to do this. I done made this happen for you. You got to hit this radio station. Not the nigga that's saying, yo, it, um, give me 15%. I don't want to pay for your little studio time. Man. That's for the young boys. That's what we're about. Right. So now, what business uh, ventures you got going on there? I got some things going on. I got the clothing. Yeah, shout out to, yeah, shout out to your shirts, bro. I see that you got your little shirt flopping. You know what I mean? It's, it's nice. Thank you. Oh, it's nice. You know what I mean? I ain't get one yet, but you know what I mean? I was about to say. You know, you're supposed to have, you know, yo, here you go. You better get that money. You better get that money. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a brand. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Look, so um, yeah, I got that. I got, I got jeans coming out. You hear first? I got jeans coming out. Jeans coming out. That's crazy. I got jeans coming That's out with my artwork. With my artwork on. I got jean jackets coming out. Yo, and let's talk about that. A lot of people really don't know that you're like. An actual art, like an so, art, yo, it's so, my bad, an artiste. 
Yeah. 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 Ye
cannot stop. Right. Regardless of what you do, regardless of what you say, guess what? I don't care if I sell two or three shirts. I sold it. You, I sold it. I, you know what I say? I sold it. You know what I always say? Can't nobody stop you but yourself. Exactly. So now I got I'm building my own screening company. So in yeah, my basement, make, make that happen. I mean, why is it that basements always got like <laughs> some type of business in it? <laughs> some type of business. <laughs> That's where it's at. That's where Apple started Facebook. Apple, yeah. Yeah, they started in the garage. Love started in the living room. Love started in the living room. Love started in the living room. Oh, love and peace. Love and peace. Love and peace. Love and peace. peace. All right, so now, we talked about a lot of things, man, so let's talk about the creativity side. You know what I mean? Um, Like, how did you start making beats? Dang, I think I started making beats in prison. How, how, what you got, like a pencil, like a little, little pencil in the cup, nigga? Like, <laughs> right, yeah. PA, PA Confess are fortunate enough to have keyboards. Well, they have music class. And music and class, so we was able to buy a keyboard. So we were able to buy the keyboards where you could, with, with internal memory, where you could make beats on six tracks and save them. So I always, had a thing for me, like even when I was a kid, being around Wirecut, the Artifacts, Dembski, um, Souls of Mission, like being around these people as a kid, because of Capone, rest in peace Capone and shit, I always had, damn, my uncle made beats, I just don't have the point to do it, you know what I mean? So going in there, I'm like, oh, this is how you do it, so the difference was, we couldn't sample. So if I hear something about stylistics, I'm like, yo, I like that trumpet. I gotta keep rewinding it and playing it out. So I taught myself how to play music. So then I taught myself how to make the beats, how to make the drums, how to make the time and all this shit. So my man bought, my man went home and bought me a keyboard. No, my nigga went home, shout out to Young, went home, he was like, yo, when I get home, I'ma send you the money to buy a keyboard. Cause he did like six years. No, he did like, a two to four, and you know I was going 15, so I was stuck. All my niggas was going home. So he went home and he came back. And he was like, damn, boy, he said, I'm sorry, my nigga, I ain't buy you that shit, but I'm gonna get it for you now. So from inside the jail, he bought me a joint. You did what I'm saying? He kept his fucking word. I'll never forget that. So um, I just started from there. I made, I made a tape, I made a tape while I was in there. Cause we was able to record this shit. I sent that shit home, and um, there was no turning back, bro. I came home, I learned the computer shit and all that, and I started to start fucking on. What was the first uh, program that you started with? FL Studio. On, on the phone. phone. On the phone. With, with, you told me, yo, you need to get this. On the phone. Which I got. You know what? I still got that drone. I still haven't learned how to use that shit, bro. That shit still sitting. That shit still sitting there. I started making beats on the phone. I'm about to give that shit to you, man. So that shit, I'm about to give that shit to you. The whole motherfucking computer. I think right? you got the same one I got, right? Nah, uh, you told me to get the pro job, right? Yeah, you got the, the same v, one I got. I think the V, whatever, V Pro. Whatever. Well, now, you, once you put that job in, it's going to upgrade. Okay. So, um, yeah, I just started from there and just started. I've got to turn back, bro. I always felt like if I made a beat, I had the right to it. That's why you almost had my albums don't have. 16, 20 songs. Cause I don't go on YouTube. You got like eight, right? Like eight. This one got nine. Oh, nine. The last one I think I had ten. Yeah. Cause if I make a, a beat and I'm writing to it, I'm not doing anything else until I finish that song. I'm not going to move on without finishing something. And I've seen that. And you see it. You I've put seen it. You take weeks. And I'll take weeks. You take not weeks. Doing nothing and you're else. Like, I'm not doing nothing until I finish that. And you will play it. And we're like, yo, I'll be like, yo, that shit hot as shit. You be like, nah. And we'll finish the bottom of Henry. And I'll be like, look, I'm about to go home. Come back a week later, you'll be like, look, I'm like, nigga, that doesn't sound nothing like it's hot, but what the fuck did you do to it? He was like, look, I just thought of something and the shit just came. Uh-huh. All right, so your first track, do you remember? My first beat? First track. Your first, first song? First song you ever recorded. Nigga, you really, nigga, the first, I, really, I remember. I got that shit. You got it? Yeah. What was it called? 
that shit was called Raw Deal. How you feel about it right now? I mean, it was me, but um, Petey Crack, but Petey, he was smooth Pete back in the day. It was me, Pete, and my How many Pete. names that boy had, man? That I mean, I don't know about smooth Pete. That boy had like so many crack. names before Petey Crack, man. But it was called Raw Till, and I still got that shit. So what do you think about it? I'm talking the same shit. Same shit. So I'm still talking that shit. So it's like nothing. So it's and like that nigga. I was like 14, and I'm talking about you know hustling, robbing niggas, how real shit is, niggas ragging. The same shit. I don't know what the fuck, nigga. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was a kid, I was always on that vibe, and I think it's because of who I came up under. You know what I mean? I think it's because of that. And I figured the, um, the thing side of it is because coming up under the nation of Islam, as a kid, like I was always reading something. It was always school to me. So that made me think. So that's why each one of my lives has to say something. But, um, so like back then, you wasn't this calm, collected, you know what I mean? Uh, humble. Nah, at all. No, nah, at all. It was like, nah, nigga, not me. Yeah, <laughs> this, 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 this room will be different. Well, out the house, like, it, 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 totally different. Totally different. Yeah, it'd be totally like, different. Like, the aura, just everything. 60 out. niggas in here, tension in the air, because somebody, one of them 60 niggas don't like somebody, somebody, up somebody he hanging with, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he just want to be here because it's a radio show. That type, you know, nut shit, dumb shit. So just young shit. Yeah, not, yeah. Not, not, not just not shit, young, young shit. shit. Yeah. Young shit. All right. So maturity, creativity, um, just everything, you know. I mean, the humbleness. So you know, you know, you know what um, you know what the humble, the being humble came in at. I got an outro on my album on this joint. It says um, it says uh, niggas won't loan you twenty dollars when you live but pay twenty five when you die for a t-shirt that you win. You get what I'm saying? You picture me being around the type of dudes that will know you fucked up and still do not for you. You did what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you experience shit like that, you become humble. And I think the best thing I ever did was stay away from everybody. Because I'm like, I'll take shit real personal. On you. you already know, nigga. Going to Vanity Grand. Niggas ain't, you, you remember that shit? Yeah. What you say, man, for the same time. Then yeah. I was in my bag. Yeah. Cause I you know, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Yeah. I'm not even gonna but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I take shit real personal and it's like if I fuck with you, I pray if like in the song I say, if I pray for you, that means I really fuck with you. That means I got love for you, you know what I'm saying? So if I feel as though I'm not doing it to get love in return, but if I sense a shift in the temperature, I gotta bundle up for that shit. I gotta prepare for what's coming up, you know, after that. Clearly. Right. You know so, I mean? and, and this, saying that, I say that it's right. It bring me back to the, um, I remember um, when Meat Mill, was it Meat Mill? Who was bitching about the repos? Meat Mill and Wale? Well, yeah, Meat Mill was Wale didn't post no. Meat Mill? Nah, it wasn't Wale. I, 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 I think it was Kendrick. Uh, I think it was Kendrick. Uh, J. No, no, it was Wale and Meat first, it? then it was Meat and Kendrick. Oh, oh, and you know how we be on some shit yeah. like that? Nigga, we post your shit, nigga. That's nothing. Let me tell you something. Let me That's know. a lot. It's because you're part of the team. No, That's not a, just that. That's a lot. Can you do That's a lot. You go through, you go through, how many niggas you follow on Instagram? Uh, I think like half of what's following me, somewhere around. And how many we know? To, you know, that know me, that fuck with me. That know you? About uh, good 30, 40. You might know some niggas? Yeah. Well, I'm not saying 30, 40, you know what I mean? Well, about personally, many? about personally, about 30, 40. Pro yeah. But a lot, a lot range, a lot of people. Right now. A lot of people, you understand? Right. So right. that's a different number. You know what I mean? Because it's like I might have a thousand people, but guess what? Five hundred gonna know about you. Right now, look, now look. If it ain't on Philip North page, what else you see in advertisement for my album? Yeah, hundred percent right. You did what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent right. Niggas ain't be post. I mean, it, but I say that to say this. I see why the niggas felt some type of way. 
you supposed to fuck with me? And I'm talking about the niggas that see me grind. M class the only nigga that reposted my shit. I got mad at on him. That nigga ain't repost my shit. And he on a, he on what? He on one song. Only nigga that's on the album that reposted my shit was M class. He don't repost that shit back to back. You think what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm not harboring no type of feelings, but real recognize real. Like one for I want for the next man what I want for myself. As you should. You did what I'm saying? As you should. How many motherfucking times you see me repost everybody that you know on them joint shit? Right. As you should. You, you follow me? Right. So, you know, that's just, that's what humbles me. That's what motivates me. So is that part of you just being, guess what? I'm just going to do it. Yeah, and, and, and. No, it's like no disrespect to nobody. Yeah, and all our feelings and none of that you shit. Know? You know, I, and you know what I don't care about. I, 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 so I want to explain something to y'all, and I really don't want like, like somebody be like, oh well, you don't do this and don't do that with me no more. I'm like, my nigga, I still fucks with you. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I still fucks with you. Like you said, we was talking about the new poster, and I still do this and I still. Nah, but you don't do this. I'm like, bro, listen to me. I grew up on Federal Street for 30 years. Those guys are like my brothers. Right. I don't go around there no more. Why? Because sometimes you just get tired of the same shit. And you just want to venture out and see what else is out there. And it's not that I'm not fucking with you no more. It's not that I'm fucking with you no more. But it's like, come on. I want to see what's popping out in New York. I want to see what's popping out in Jersey. I want to see, I want to go to Atlanta, you know what I mean? And go fuck with them cats out there and see what they're doing about. It's not that I just don't fuck with you no more. It's like, my man, you know what I mean? Listen, I'm trying to do other things. That's it. That's it. And it's not no love loss, it's not no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, it's not I mean, you learn, you, you, you live, you learn. Right? It's like this, right now, how many of your people right now that you grew up with, that you was tight as shit, that you don't see them? A lot. A lot. But when you see them, it's cool. It's all love. Yeah. But what are they doing? Are they still doing the same shit? And that's one thing that, yo, and that was eye open. And again, you know what I mean? And it's not just because he's here, but me, listen, me and Philip, I'll be like, yo, did you see the smoke signal? And he started laughing because he knows exactly what I'm talking about because he hasn't called me. And now he doesn't, we don't have to call him today, you know what I mean? But he hasn't called me in like a couple weeks. I just want to make sure that he's all right. You know? It doesn't mean that we don't fuck with each other. You, you know gotta find, you gotta find a compromise. Went to Federal Street two weeks ago, straight up story. Same dude, same 40, same oh, steps. Yeah, yeah. That's not me. And that's how we become attached to people sometimes. We want to grow and they can't grow with us. You feel me? But they want you to bring them along. Nah, see, this, this is the thing. All right, look. Prime example. Prime example is what happened when I was trying to take y'all with me. If you sit We're going to take this little music break. <laughs> that's a prime example because if... If you was to sit here, you're not bitter. But if anybody wow. wants to sit there and be bitter about what I had, what, what I've accomplished, I, I, I'm off it. I'm not bitter. It. You know why I'm not bitter? You know why I'm not mad? Because you gave me the opportunity and I, I didn't take it. I gave plenty of people the opportunity. And I didn't take yeah. it. So I mean, why am I going to be like, why am I going to call you, yo, um, you think you can bring Tony up? He was like, nah, nigga, you had the chance to ask him yourself. And you didn't take it. And what I, so know, I can't I can't be mad about it. And and, and he respect the fact that I said <laughs> talk to his manager. Yeah. That's, he respect you. And guess him. what? And I'm saying this on air. Got a call from his manager. Uh-huh. And say, and you know what his manager said? He was like, look, the only reason I'm calling you is because a certain person vouches for you. And we fuck with people who vouch for me. <laughs> and that was it. And so, nothing came about it because you know what? Because it wasn't in the plans at that time. But you gave me that. I'm not mad, nigga. Do you? Great. Listen, that's why you're here. To we'll talk about it. You want to see your progression. You want to see your success. You want to. You know, want everybody to hear what you got to say. Yeah. You know, I've always been the person that. I, what I do. Always trying to write. I don't even have a lot of time when a nigga called me like, yo, I'm trying to 
trying to take the I'm in New York. I'm about to be Tony in I'm like, man, I'm at work, but I'm like, yo, I'm doing something, and it's like, damn, I wish I could just drop this shit right now to make this move. And I know at the end of the day, I always know this is a crazy opportunity. Well, hopefully one day the opportunity will come back up. And I promise you, I will drop everything. And I will fucking do that. I always, I always reach out, bro. And, and, I, and, I, and I will do that. All right, so let's talk about this, uh, the Ways North. The Ways North. Seven twenty one seventeen. Why that date? And the rest is for the streets. No, I mean the rest is, is 
The process for what we're grabbing. I see. And you give us an example. An example as far as what? Just or an example would be just like three, um, three singles. All right, three singles would be like all right. Number one, Fresh Montana. That's a nigga that he do singles. So on his last album, he had what like four singles, right? Right, like and they were all features. Um, this shit with Nicki Minaj. This shit with um, who was it? Drake or some shit. Drake. He but had Drake, like four singles. Drake, but not all. His last album. You talk all oh, this last. But then it didn't got. Are you it talking about drop? Cause it got leaked. The mac and cheese. That was it. The mac and cheese. I think so. I think he. Yeah, the shit with Chris Brown. Yeah, the, the Chris Brown and Quavo. Yeah, that was one of his singles. I'm not sure about it. One of his albums had like four singles. Okay. The John when he got before he got dropped from that little dude he walking with. He got dropped from Bad Boy. He got dropped from Bad Boy. Yeah. 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 When yeah. did this yeah. happen? Yeah. 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 Y
and we do this shit for like two months till we get it right. Uh, but don't you, would you rather just be there or? You, nah, you nah, just, just be there. I gotta get a song. I let them do hum. Oh. And a song over and over. But um, Cherie is on that hook, singing in the background. Alexa Cherie, Maddox is rapping on the hook. But, but that beat right there is like one of my best, um, I feel as though it's one of my best produced from the mentions to every, everything on it. Once you hear it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, so does, uh, do we get blessed, you know what I mean, with a copy or we got to go to title and, 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 and get it? Whatever you got on your phone, whatever app you got on your phone. Oh, uh, this <laughs> thing right here. Are you serious? Got to spend that night that you know. You know how many pair of airbags you got? How many pair of Air Max do I got? Yeah. Nigga, you know. Right, like, right, like a hundred or some shit like that. Why you put my business out there like that, nigga? Because how many times you went to Nike and said, you won't bless me? Well, I go to Nike. You know, I want the foot lock, I want the right. chance. Right, and you paid way more than the night, nine ninety nine. Yeah, I got you. I, I, I got you. I, I, I got you. What? What? I got you. So this nigga just fucking knocked me down. <laughs> even though we're gonna be playing this shit. <laughs> even though we're gonna be playing this shit. <laughs> my nigga. Fucking yeah, Sundays. Hey, hey, man. My nigga. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's why I love this. Not it's not real shit. You know, I'm, business is business. Of course, shit. bro. I gave my whole first CD out. I sold a lot and paid the rest out. And now I'm even sending it out there with the t-shirts and shit to the people okay. out of state. I got full of North London coming out too. Nice. All right, so what's for what's 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 London? Yeah. Oh, just for London? Just for London, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm already working on I mean, global done. I'm just waiting. Oh, it's a different logo? Yeah. And that's only going to be in, in London? Right, so, how, so, how did you get, so how did you get connected with the UK? Instagram and SoundCloud and YouTube. All my views on YouTube, the majority of my fucking views are not in the United States. They're from the UK. From the UK, Indonesia, India, Russia, Germany, South America, China. Uh, you know what's funny? Because we had Rich Quick. Was you on? Um, did you record that show? Uh, when we had Rich Quick. When he was going, because Rich Quick, shout out to Rich Quick. Yeah. He's out on his third. Yeah, he on tour. He, he's on his right, third right, right. tour. He's out there in London, and he was like, "Yo, I get more love out there." That's what I'm saying. Than here, it's like that, bro. It's like that. It's niggas not, fuck with me, you know. Yeah, niggas, niggas fuck with me. They, you know, say yourself whatever. But when it come to like your business and supporting your shit, no different story. I don't hold nothing against it, but it's just, you know, the way motherfuckers think, the way they brought up. That's what's up. I'm a whole different story. All right, so five, we got about five minutes left, my nigga. All right. All right. So for these five minutes, man, just speak your piece. Yo, I appreciate you coming out here. I no doubt. Yo, you spoke your heart. No doubt. You know what I mean? I hope we touch on topics that, you know what I mean, that you told me that you wanted me to, to touch on. You know? Uh, I think we did, yeah. Your, your, your YouTube is there. Um, his YouTube videos there, you know. Um, I am Philip North on YouTube. Yeah, so you know, once 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 I get that PayPal pay from YouTube, uh, you know, I'll see. Uh, ah, ah, no, 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 that's no, 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 I, well, you know what? After you know what I mean, somebody taught you, or somebody not taught you, but somebody no, you know me, yeah. uh, pulled your hair. So you know what? After we finish here, you gonna pull my hair just like you always do. Create every, whoever listen, whatever whoever got a YouTube channel, create an AdSense account. Then when you go on TuneCore and upload your music, go on YouTube monetization and register the song, and you'll get a check from YouTube and a check from BMI or ASCAP. And for Zoom or that's simple. So that check is by the viewers or you can't do that individually, you can't do it as a whole. You get what happened? You can't do it. You gotta do it individually. Yeah, because then you get a, you get separate checks. Yeah. It's best it's uh, best to go individually right, you get course. separate checks. You go to YouTube, then you go to TuneCore or C D baby, I fuck with TuneCore. Then um so the way you get paid through YouTube is when you create a promotion, a campaign, a promotional campaign, 
for X amount of dollars a month, a year, or, or a week, you'll start seeing ads. If I, you know, if you look up a video, you'll see an ad before it. So if that ad plays for five seconds or more, a certain amount of times, they cut your check. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? People think they got a video up there, and I don't know who I was saying this to, but you get a million plays on a video, that don't mean you get paid for all million. After a million plays, it, it, it sends the signal, and you'll get that you're buzzing. Right, then you'll get this video is suggested for promotion. So what happens is, you hit promote, they'll take you from the steps, you create the assets account, but the million views already went by, it don't mean you won't get paid for them. It starts from the date you set the account, the most, yeah. right, the promotion. So oh, okay. That's how that works. Uh, so, where can everybody find you at? Philip North 15 on Instagram, same on Facebook, and I am Philip North on YouTube. I got a video dropping the 21st too. As soon as my album dropped, the video won't be up too. And what's the video to that? Album. It's going to be the, the outro to the album. Okay. So, so you, you got the intro, outro, outro that's the this intro. Oh, and I was going to do um, Gladiator as the intro. Oh, yeah, from yeah so what happened with that is I ran into some some copyright problems. But it don't matter anyway, because I think Goody wound up using the um the same intro to Charlie Chaplin's speech, and I think he put it on SoundCloud. Okay. But and when I was trying to monetize it, I ran into issues with, with the copyright. So I didn't feel like dealing with issues. Uh, so uh, quick question, because it's like with Kanye. Yo, these samples are a lot. There's like three or four yeah, samples. Yeah, yeah, there's like three yeah. or four samples in one song. I mean, yeah. like, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that's the got that, you know, that paper that, like, you cut that check, and that's people are going to be like, all right, go ahead, do it. But a lot of, yeah, that, and a lot of times when you alter the sample, it ain't the same. Yeah. Right. So, so, that's what I'm saying. So, my question, uh, my question would be like, Yeah, so my question would be when it comes to sampling, when the sampling becomes illegal, where as those sampling, sampling always been illegal. No, this way, this this people battle with a lot. Yeah, because you all you either alter the seventh note, or you chop it up to the point where it can't be um, it can't be recognized, it can't be registered, right? It can't be recognized. So right. you know who's good for that? I don't know. Premier. I know that. Not just Premier. Um, Daft Punk. Daft Punk was one more time. Yeah, yeah, they was genius because they used to take a sample and you didn't even know it was a sample mm -hmm. because they chopped it up yeah. so like Shit. where it was just unrecognized. Yeah. That's crazy. Till people started getting hip to it. Right. You know? So alright. Alright, so we got my man Philip North. Yeah. I'm uh, so, back. so pay attention, 72117. Yeah, 72117. There's no Illuminati to that shit. Ain't no Illuminati, <laughs> ain't no, you know, we're not knocking on the grave for the widow's son or none of that shit. All right. And, and hold up. Go ahead. Don't be me posting my shit now that I said something about niggas not posting my shit. Because I'm going to find out who's wearing the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only thing I'm going to repost is a motherfucking YouTube video, nigga. Like That's, you know what I mean? Because it's like, there's certain things that, you know what I mean, people can do. All right, so fine, I don't repost. But guess what, there's other things that I can do. Listen, hold yeah, up. Let's say, All right, so my nigga, M no, no, no. M.O.P. So my nigga, so you mean to tell me, M.O.P. That time, that me and you, we was at the barbecue. Where I told you, I'm like, yo, what barbecue you at? He was like, nah, I'm in front of my house. I'm like, all right, cuz. Nah, I never ran. I never Just the fuck you did. No, 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 no. I never ran. So what you did? I just started rapping like probably like four and a half, five months ago. Nah. Four, five months ago? For real? He spit something. Like five months ago. He spit something. It was probably like plain freestyle. But he spit something. What? But now, listen, we're not going to say I want to listen. Wait, thank you. But you did spit something in that basement that day. I, so. I don't even remember. Yes, you did. Why? Because we was handy the fuck up. Yeah. We but walked around. I remember. Yeah. 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 We was working on that. Yo, job. but. Yeah. Now, butter, look out for this dude, man. There's a, a whole bunch of cats. Man, man. There's a whole bunch of cats. And L. And my man L. There's right a whole there, bunch of cats that people have to start looking out for. Man, if I'm going to bring him Sunday. You know what, man? Listen. You know what I mean? Why? 
Heavy hitters? Yeah, walk, walk nasty too. Nigga, heavy hitters. Walk, walk right like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, you know, walk built when I heard, it was like, oh. And it's not like when Rick, it was like a Puerto Rican Rick Ross, bro. Because <laughs> what he, yo, when Rick Ross came out with his first joint, and what he was spitting, I'm like, you know what's crazy? A lot of people say I sound like Fat Joe. Beanie C. Nah, Beanie probably. But I don't know. I don't I think like I'm Like Beanie and Coward said your own shit. shit. But I don't know. I guess my voice when I rap, I guess it's Which was this so raw that it, it comes out like that. But I don't know. I heard, I heard Fat Joe and Beanie and Beanie C. go a lot. But yeah, I got some work. Like raw rap. Raw rap. All right, yeah. so listen. So when you ready, you're going to come on here, right? Come on here. All right. All right, so you're, and listen, everybody out there heard it. You know, yeah, so, uh, so when he's ready, he just sent me a beat. He's gonna come into town live. Listen, listen, I'm producing. Yo, he just sent me this beat the other day, man. Their single. This shit is crazy. Right, now, wait a minute. All the way through, all now, the way for, through. Now, for people who are gonna be like, oh, well, Channel Live is a, a rap group or nothing. Exactly. One of the hottest motherfucking rap groups in the motherfucking nineties. Even though they had the one, they won the, they had the yeah. hottest rap motherfucking track. Yeah. Yeah. Mad yeah. Ism. Yeah. Mad Ism. And that's gonna be our intro song. Shout yeah, out Hakeem oh, Green. Shit. And that's gonna be our intro song. I met Hakeem Green on Six of Spring Garden. Oh, get out of here. I'm not Ah, you know what? Then, North, we gotta do a part two to this, bro. Yeah. We gotta bring you back. You know what I mean? After your joint drops, you know what I mean? So we can hear the buzz on the streets and yeah, see what's going on. And whoever you want to bring, bro, you're ready. I'm not surprised. I got so people in here too. Right. Yo, shout out to Tony Sunshine. Yo, Philip North, Philip North, fucking right. put me say, down yo. on that motherfucking um, Liddy again, Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Yo, that, yo, Zaz on that Tony Sunshine Liddy again remix. Yes. I'm to look for that. He heard of that shit. Yo. Matter of fact, we're gonna start playing that so many times with Spoon. Yo. Oh, and he gave a shout out to Philip North on that job. I was Philip North. Cheese! I'm out of the house. Nice. I hear that guy. They got it. Alright, man. Yo, so we out of here, man. We see y'all next week on radio. We out.